Well, good evening. This video is about the Easy Start Soft Starter made by Micro Air that I'm going to install on my Winnebago Micro Mini Winnie that has a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. And we're going to attempt to run this uh, camper, this entire camper, off of a 20 amp breaker. This Easy Start is going to help us by reducing the spike when the air conditioner system, the air conditioner compressor first starts. As it turns off and comes back on, uh, every time the air compressor starts, it has to break that rotor free and get it moving again, causing a large amp draw. And we're gonna to attempt to reduce that with the easy start. Come along with me. What's up, Rocky? Huh? What you doing, buddy? So per one of my earlier videos, I purchased the Easy Start module. So I packed it up on the top of the uh, camper, along with a few tools that I thought I would probably need. A, uh, some screwdrivers, some wire strippers, uh, a ratchet, some sockets, uh, and the like. Your camper will be different than mine. But nonetheless, assess the situation, bring the tools that you need, and ensure that the power is turned off before you get up here, Okay, which I've done. All right, so let's remove the, uh, the box off of the electrical uh, connections here. There's a, a little box with two screws, and it keeps the water off of all the electronics there. So I'm removing what is a hard start capacitor that I added myself. It's not factory, so if you have anything other than factory, remove that first, and then uh, install this easy start unit. It comes in a nice neat package. It comes with an install kit. You actually have to purchase that install kit separately, but uh, they do offer an easy start uh, insulation kit, which is kind of nice. Has some extra zip ties and some and the right uh, connectors that you're going to need. Okay, so highly recommend that you order one of these kits along with the unit. So here it is. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the installation because there's much better videos out there than I could ever make, and I'll put a link in the description. Uh, of a much better installation video. But here it is after I've installed it and I've actually started it and it works. So check it out. So now uh, I'm gonna attempt to run this on uh, 20 amp service and we're gonna see how it goes. So here we are plugged into a 20 amp plug, a 20 amp circuit with a 20 amp breaker. Just the air conditioner and the fan are running no lights inside of the camper, uh, everything is turned off, and the battery is also disengaged. So there you go. If you watched my previous video, you'll note that the air conditioner and the fan by themselves, no lights on in the trailer and no battery running, it was pulling about 16 amps. Today, after the easy start has been added, no lights are on, the battery's been disengaged, it's a apples to apples comparison, and now we're running only about 13.6 amps. So that's good news. Uh, the Easy Start is not necessarily meant to reduce running amps, but it looks like it has in this case, and I'm happy with that. So let's do some more testing with this 20 amp service, and I'm gonna turn on the hot water heater. A hot water heater is known to pull uh, a fair amount of amps. So I imagine this is gonna trip that 20 amp breaker. So I'm running the hot water uh, out of the tank right now. So the hot water heater, I'll be sure that the hot water heater is running off of electric. And then I'm gonna kick on the furnace as if it's for winter time and sort of do a little test here. So here we go, it's loaded. So now you're gonna see the hot water heater kick on. There it went. So, wow, that's gonna overload the circuit. So we know that's not a good combination, and that's okay. We can run the hot water heater, and I highly recommend it, as well as a refrigerator, off of propane. So based on what we've learned running off of a 20 amp circuit, we're gonna run the hot water heater and the refrigerator 
all the time on propane. And I recommend that in your unit as well. I ran it for a week uh, in that condition and I used less than a bottle of propane. So that wasn't bad at all. So we're gonna run the air conditioner now. All the lights are on in the unit uh, that can be turned on. The exhaust fan is running above the stove and the air conditioner is gonna kick on here in just a second. First the fan will come on and then the air conditioner will come on. And we're gonna watch it cycle here on this 20 amp breaker and see what happens. So no doubt the fan just kicked on for the air conditioning unit. And next we'll see the air compressor come online. Yep, so there's the air conditioner uh, compressor online now, and we're still running uh, below 15 amps. Lights are all on, exhaust fan is running above the stove, exhaust fan is running in the restroom, the air conditioner and the fan running, 20 amp circuit. I'm liking it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or dissent. You've been watching the Junkyard Tailgate channel. Good day.